Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Today I have Mr. Ajit Kaikni with me. Okay, so while speaking, you will come to know more about uh, uh, Ajit. Okay, uh, Ajit, uh, how you yeah. want to define yourself? Uh, if you really ask me, I think I'm very creative uh-huh. and uh, um, I've been able to do a lot of new things in my life. That, that's, that's what I've been realizing. Okay. And uh, uh, what's about your childhood? My childhood, uh, you know, those days I used to always feel I don't have facilities. Mm. Frankly speaking, the lack of facilities helped me to squeeze out my faculties from within. Yeah, many people will think uh, they have a lot of problems. In fact, those problems uh, support us. Uh, They forget that, isn't it? Yes, yes. (laughs) Actually, I have seen one thing. uh, Problem, if you probe properly, Uh. with love and enthusiasm, Mm. motivation to achieve something greater because, you know, you don't want to live in this thing. Uh, yes, and uh, no pain, no gain. Absolutely. <laughs> I would tell it the other way. Uh. Know the pain and you'll know the gain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, uh. instead of no, N-O, we yeah, have to do- K-N-O-W. Absolutely. Those who respect pain, huh. those who know the pain, know that is the price to be paid for every gain. Yes, yes. See, how come pharmacist uh, become a trainer? Uh, Okay. Uh, I think uh, anybody can become a trainer if you have kept your mind open. Okay. Because training means I am using my experience to uplift somebody Mm. to where I have used what and give them a stepping stone. You are not only using experience, you are using your expertise also. Am I correct? Uh, I think uh, if you call that I have faced them before them and you call me expert, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Because both experience and expertise goes hand in hand. Uh, uh, Because uh, we Mm. don't expertise if you are just moving ahead with our uh, years. Just Mm. age matters. Okay. Uh, Let me tell you one thing. Okay. Experience, I could have bad experience. So expertise cannot come with bad experience. Okay. Number, number two, if I have a bad experience and if I contemplate and reflect on it, then I become a uh, what you call uh, expert. Okay. Okay. I'll give you an example. Hmm. I went to Kerala to conduct a training program. Hmm. And uh, there was a person who had kept uh, a Malayali uh, who had kept uh, 2000 rupees training on how to how not to fail in business. Mm-hmm. And it was packed, 100 people had come. So I went and met him, you know, because he's a trainer. So I told him, oh, how, how did you learn how not to be a failure? Sir, I failed in business in Bangalore. I lost 3 lakh rupees. Last month, I did one program. I got two, two lakhs. Now I'm getting two lakhs. I'm making more money, <laughs> more money by telling <laughs> not to fail. Because I've made those mistakes. Okay. Uh, ah. but, yes. Sir, there is, now uh, one word is coming up in newspapers often. Uh, mm-hmm. That word is startup. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by startup? See, what has happened is... All these years uh, in India, we were a Jugaad country. Only when things become very bad, we give. Mm. We only knew innovation, we knew renovation. Mm. But creation was only the Western world thing where there were freedom given to children. Correct. Creation is when you take risks, calculated and intelligent risk without fear. But unfortunately in India, don't do this, don't do that. What they will think, what she will think, what if you don't get a job? So we were brainwashed. But today's children are getting exposure, experiences. They've learned to evaluate much more intelligent than many parents. 
and therefore they are taking risks and their parents have made enough money so they can afford to take risk yes uh, in fact entrepreneurship the other meaning of entrepreneurship is taking risk am i correct yeah see antarprerna probably became entrepreneur <laughs> yeah good they are ready to face any challenges yes yes uh, see be- when i see i see ad is there no mai hu na Mm. So parents are made for them mm. have two houses they are getting rent so they can afford to take risk yeah i just want to know what are the challenges you have faced when you started uh, buoyancy see today when i started 30 years back to get a loan from bank was very difficult there were no uh, people who would come and give you funds angel investor and all was not heard at all mm today people have money they are looking out for ideas there are people with ideas no money so it's like clapping a hand so it has become very easy but i faced a lot of problem to get 10 lakh rupees in uh, 1996 was a great problem i wanted to build one building and somebody donated me a land so land is not mine i am taking a loan to build one building on somebody else's donated land so there was a lot of there were a lot of issues okay uh, you were so focus I, your focus was mainly on children yeah uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what made you to go ahead like that see what happened basically we started with the teenagers because they the right age to get direction okay the change in the teenagers the parents said why don't you backward integrate and uh, take uh, the children who are younger so within one or two months they found a big change in them then they said mm-hmm. to start for the youth and looking at the change in them the parents started joining when they started changing the companies asked oh how did you change because of buoyancy that is how we got introduced to companies okay looking back yeah uh just for numbers uh, may you know how many people you have trained so far uh, i myself must have trained more than 5 lakh people good good very good very good and thanks to rotary and lions i mm. must have uh, done uh, both put together more than 5 lakhs only for rotary lions mm-hmm. 130 railas rotary youth leadership award for rotary during the centenary year okay and uh, after that many more i did hmm. i've done around 300 railas by now and for lions they have a leadership academy mm-hmm. them in one year thanks to one uh, uh, what you call governor uh, lion uh, nagaraj hmm. him alone i've done 60000 uh, students in one year okay yeah uh, you are known as a corporate trainer also yeah you can you elaborate your experience yeah see what happened was as i told you um, i was doing training program for children mm thing at the change in children parents started coming on weekends mm they found a change they became confident so they took me to their companies and then um, i was introduced to itc then slowly wipro then uh, i became a part of large change initiatives bisleri fund and launch then for itc 5000 poorest villages were made the richest villages through their program called each aupal mm-hmm. uh, one company which was only 13 crores in 2005 to mm-hmm. this last year it became 1000 crores so how they shifted from service to manufacturing and then uh, before the pandemic i took one company in bombay uh, they came to know through bisleri and they were uh, hovering around 8 crores and they wanted to touch the double digit for 3 years they were hovering around 8 9 8 9 mm-hmm. just did you know contact ajit in bangalore okay uh, when i went and interviewed the people i found that the problem was with the people so i told him uh, what double digit i will touch 25 30 he laughed at me but we did touch 30 crores very good very good uh, for newcomers for the startup field Uh, what's your uh, major advice to them see what people do mistake is they go where the money is there okay you go where the interest is there so when you go where your interest is there what you love to do then what happens is when problems come because you love to do and your interest is there you will never back out 
But when you go where there is money, you will close down immediately. There is a problem. Oh, that's the main reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because See, they the don't have passion towards the what. Absolutely, they're... only two things are necessary: passion and purpose. Yes. Only two things are necessary. So what happens is when you have passion and purpose, you don't mind preparing for it. You don't mind practicing for it because you're loving what you're doing, right? And you won't look at the time also sometimes, major time. That's true because when you love what you're doing, where is the time? <laughs> yes. You're celebrating life. You're, you're not tolerating. Correct. Correct. Uh, in fact, the entrepreneurship is the need of the hour, no? Yeah. See, what has happened is today, India needs to create jobs. And the more and more entrepreneurship is uh, instilled in our uh, during the high school, by the time they finish their professional courses, they would have already converted the seed into a tree. Mm -hmm. Then get exposure in a company which is a must according to me. Otherwise, what happens? We why reinvent the wheel? Already, if you join, uh, you know, in a company, you learn what to do, what not to do. So we need to create jobs nowadays. Okay. okay. And especially all MBA students, I tell, don't do MBA and look for a job. MBA means create jobs. Start your own startups. Okay. Without experience also, they can start. No, 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 no. I, am, I told you, ah. if two years they work in some company. Okay. And it it is a sort of training for them. Uh, preparing, right. Getting up, getting that's, up. That's right. See, so they, they have to get up doctor, into whatever they feel. A, yes. Correct. Even a doctor after MBBS has to work as a locum in some hospital. Correct. He has to go to the village and work for a few months. It's because, see, intellectually understanding and practically doing, there are two different things. Correct. I can teach you about swimming, but unless you enter the water, you cannot swim. So that the practical experience is always uh, matters. Uh, I think practical exposure, experience, evaluation, all three are necessary. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Because one is exposure to river water, exposure mm -hmm. to sea water, and then you experience some different, then you evaluate. Correct. When you evaluate, there is a realization which happens. Hmm. It seems these days, uh, both state governments and uh, central governments are supporting the startups. Oh, startups. Today, today, if you are in a startup, you will get money, you will get uh, incubation, they will give you a place, they will give you everything. Okay. You only have to decide, bus. Decide and have a proper plan. Yes. I heard that there are a lot of incubation centers. So what do you mean by that? See, incubation center means, uh, see, when egg becomes a chicken, when you keep it at the right temperature, at the right time, and the gestation period has to be respected. Similarly, till my business becomes sturdy, I will be supported by people who know about business or maybe who already are in such a business or maybe some retired people. So they help you, they handhold you and tell you how to go about it. Are mentors required uh, for these people uh, to support them, especially the startups? It, it is like asking me, do you need a teacher to learn ABCD? <laughs> no, but still, uh, uh, purposefully, I'm asking this question because many people think that uh, they can do whatever they want. That's the reason. No, it is like this. Uh, see, mentors are okay. Uh, I've seen mentors spoiling the mood of the juniors also. The reason is, I have 30 years experience in the industry. But today, the whole industry is outdated. So, suppose somebody comes with a new idea. Uh, it is his idea. It is emanated from intuition. So just because I've got 30 years experience, but my experience has got nothing to do with what he is doing. Okay. That Junior means they have to identify proper mentors, open-minded mentors. Yes. And a mentor should be guiding and not giving advice as per his past. 
Yes, uh, I uh, appreciate this answer because uh, uh, one should be open-minded to the new ideas, especially these startup people will have so much of ideas, so much of creativity. Uh, we should allow such people to execute what they want instead of uh, proposing our own ideas, isn't it? Very true, very true. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, in general, is mentoring is essential for everyone? See, uh, what is the meaning of mentor? What you are meant to do and you need to do, you don't know. You have the goal in plan, but the path is not there. So mentor's job is by asking you questions, coach you to think bigger and think of problems which could be avoided. Okay. Uh, then what's the difference between mentoring and training? See, training means I'm developing a skill. A football coach is training the person to play football the way it should be played. It's already known. The coach has played the game. Okay, but mentoring means I cannot come behind you and train you. Hmm. I can only mentor you, wherein you come and ask me questions and I will give you two, three suggestions and you only have to think which is the best suggestion. Okay. Uh, today, the whole world has come to, uh, has become a real village actually. Hmm. Um, uh, earlier they used to say, but now today we are watching Mm. Even in just one mobile, many people are doing great businesses, mm. uh, big businesses. Mm. Uh, how do you find this these type of in inventions like mobile? Yeah, uh, see what them? happens, I'll tell you. Mm. Uh, you think they are doing business, but they forget their business is also relationship. Mm. Their business is also happiness. Their business is also wellness. But most are getting psyched about money. Mm much that the feel bad factor goes up and they get addicted to mobile which gives them feel good factor okay where the life is going imbalanced topsy-turvy okay uh, uh, what's your opinion about uh, utilizing the media and social media for the startups see let me tell you one thing food is good extra food is bad voltage is good extra voltage is bad Social media is good as long as you don't get addicted to it. But who are the people who get addicted to it? People whose psychological bank balance of feel good goes low. They get addicted to this because then they are shifting from the responsibilities and the problems that they need to face. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, can't these people, startups can do business with such people? Uh, yeah, definitely. See, a startup who can solve these problems of what you're talking about, definitely there is a big scope. But there you need the exposure about psychology. Okay. And that, that is the most challenging thing because your reason for getting addicted is different. B's reason is different. C's reason is different. Because everything depends on the mindset, exposure, the experiences. Okay, what are the qualities required for an entrepreneur? Uh, see, number one is calculated and intelligent risk taking. But unfortunately, people want to play safe. When you play safe, nothing can happen. Today, what water is to a seed, risk is to a human being. That is why even in banking, if you want less risk, the returns are less. If you want to take more risk, the returns are more. You have heard about this, uh, you know, that uh, entrepreneur who died recently. In one generation, he has become the richest man in India. Mm -hmm. His name. He's starting one airlines also. Okay, okay, okay. Just died about 15 days back. So he, with 15 rupees, he came to Bombay. Mm -hmm. Investing and uh, within a short time, he had few crores. And now there is no looking back. Some Gunjanwala? Yeah, yeah, Junjunwala. Junjanwala. Junjan yeah, right. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, so, Ajit, actually, interacting with the experts 
Mm. Also supports uh, these uh, startup guys, no? Oh, not only interacting with experts, simply going to the place where your products are selling the most. Okay, okay. Ah. And you are a uh, good salesman, Ajit. Uh, what are your sales ideas uh, you want to see, share? See, sales idea is very simple. Uh. If you go fishing, I cannot put what I like, what food I like. I have to use the ugly, wriggly worms. Okay. Early when I go selling, I have to speak from your point of view. So a person has to go from talking to speaking to conversing to communicating to persuading to influencing. Mm. These steps. But I only invest money thinking business will come. No, business, the major part is sales. Today, people manufacture best of goods. You must have seen many great hotels, great cooks. If you do not develop the communication skill, communication is a lubrication for relations. Yes. A person who develops communication skill is not only able to sell, but motivate the juniors, uh, influence the banks to invest money. So many things are there. Communication is the frontier line. Okay. Yeah. So, of so course, communication uh, comes under uh, life skills. Uh, 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 can yeah, you explain the ro role of life skills for a, a startup person? Yeah, see, uh, just like a computer is a hardware. Hmm. Not a software, that hardware is useless. Similarly, every human being is a hardware. If you want to do business, you need the software. It helps you to integrate the hardware and the software to produce results. Yeah. Uh, you made buoyancy as a brand. Hmm. What is the importance of a brand? I never made anything as a brand. If you are able to deliver what the people want, the people make it a brand. You cannot make anything a brand. I've seen people spending tons of money to convert something into brand. It never turns into a brand. Mm -hmm. Your service level should be so high. The end result, people's experience should be superfluous. By virtue of which they make it a brand. You can't make anything a brand. Yes, uh, uh, it's a very good answer. I liked it. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, for doing a business, identifying the business uh, mm -hmm. uh, is what is uh, most required, actually. Good. Good. If someone is having two, three different ideas, how mm -hmm. they have to prioritize? Yeah, see, number one is, uh, do I love it? Because if I love what I'm doing, mm -hmm. no adversity is going to kill me. Number, okay. two, number two, do the people require it? Because you may come with a car which can uh, run at 400 kilometers per hour in one second. Okay? But then what are the repercussions? Can you drive the car for 400 kilometers on the road? No. Number three, what will be the petrol consumption? Number four, uh, what will be the cost? So you idea is great, but utility? So utility should be there. Number three, the cost should be cost effective. Good, good. Uh, Four. Yes. Search, yes. search the right section of people. Like I have selected people, parents who are interested in empowering the children. My affordability doesn't depend on the money. Some very rich people who can afford my course do not send the children. Hey, I've got a business. They will sit. I will teach them. Whereas I've seen people taking loans and joining our courses because the parents know that my child needs this. They are futuristic. Yeah, that means self-investment is the best investment which many people doesn't know. Yeah, investment on the self rather yes. than self-investment. Investment on the self. See, what happens is people make a wrong decision of buying a house and giving all facilities uh, for the children. But they forget that unless they invest on the child to become a property, buying a property will go away. He will not be able to retain it. Correct. Correct. Uh, I think our uh, YouTube uh, viewers will benefit from your all uh, whatever experience you have gained. I call it as a wisdom for these uh, startup persons. Thank you very much for uh, being with us. Uh, You're welcome, you. Jay Prakash. Thank you very much for this wonderful interview. I'm sure 
uh, you know, whatever little experiences I have had in last 30 years should be able to help a few startups. Uh, definitely, definitely. Bye-bye.